Hey everyone, welcome back, and here we are, as our Khajiit with our dumb stupid helmet, which I refuse to change out because of its ability to give us an additional, where is it at, 25% more damage with bows, so I'm kind of stuck wearing it. Now, if you don't remember, last episode we went and killed a ton of bandits that were held up in that fort. And from here out, we're just going to continue kind of exploring and seeing what fun we can find. Mm. It looks like that shack over there is closer. So let's go take a look at it and see what fun we can get. I'm gonna have, ooh, we got something over there. This is a cool spell, I like this. Looks like a, like an elk. Yeah, it's just a, just a deer, elk, whatever. Oh, that's not, that is, that is not a deer or elk. That is a Mr. Scary Haunt Your Nightmares boy. So let's just calmly roast him on an open fire and um, run away from his absolutely terrifying face as I also eat an entire wheel of cheese, which I don't know if you've ever seen a wheel of cheese or tried to eat one in real life, but boy is that hard. Listen to those relaxing sounds of frostbite spider flesh being burned to a crisp. That's such a fun word. Crisp. Crisp travels from the front of your mouth to the back. K -r -s -p. Crisp. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. All right, so we're, uh, oh, snap. Um, I don't know if that's a hostile or not, so we're going to sneak up behind him and, um, okay, well, he sees me and he's not trying to kill me, so don't even think about it. okay, so this is the vampire place, I think where um, they're dealing like tainted skooma. So I am not in the mood to deal with vampires right now. So we're gonna wander this way and come back there when I am a much higher level, preferably with the ebony blade. because that is my weapon of choice for Daedric Artifacts. Either that or the Wabajack. Wabajack, 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 Wabajack. Wow. One of my favorite um, areas to visit in all of Skyrim or at least like my favorite like area just in general is Sovereign Guard because when you look up and see the sky that huge swirling vortex it's one of the coolest things I think I've like ever seen in a game you know right behind a couple visuals from Titanfall 2 no thank you <laughs> No, 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 no. You fiend. Get away from me. I don't want your letters. Yeah, that's what I thought. Wait a minute, he's still coming. Uh, 
Alright, fine. I guess I'll go get the letter. I just, couriers kind of like spook me a little bit because, like, they always know where you are. I've been looking for you. That's something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Ah, a letter from your daughter. Looks like that's it. Okay. Um. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is, uh, oh God, Sidgear, and I have the honor to be the Jarl of the proud and ancient city of Falkreath. The fame of your exploits across Skyrim has brought you to my attention. If you are interested in becoming Thane of Falkreath Hold, I invite you to speak to me next time you are in Falkreath. Aside from the honor that a cure accrues, cures? I don't know, I'm terrible with English. To the title, my fanes are entitled to a personal house, Carl. I also can tell you privately that a choice parcel of land in Falkreath would be available for your purchase should your services prove useful to me. I look forward to meeting you in person. I remain Jarl Sidgear of Falkreath. Okay, I've literally done nothing for Falkreath except for visit it, use their enchanting table, buy stuff from the citizens, and kill a bunch of stuff near the area. There's no reason for them to make me their thane already. And there's also no reason that I shouldn't be able to pronounce words like that, but whatever. Huh. It would seem my good for nothing husband leaves Nara on your journey. Tell him he is no longer welcome here. Is running the mill difficult? With just myself and one child, it's damn near impossible. With Leitnar gone, it really puts me in a terrible bind. I'm having trouble making ends meet. At this rate, we won't last more than a few more seasons at best. Then I'll just have to sell the old place. He said he was going east towards the border of Morrowind to trade some of our grain to some folk that croaked in Helm Hollow. I waited and waited. And he never came back. Probably shacked up with some elven whore. Good riddance to him, I say. If I only knew where he was. I'd sure give him a piece of my mind. Good. If you see him, tell him Drosta said he can go straight to Oblivion. He's not welcome here anymore. All right. Ugly face again. Okay, I have to help out. I was hoping to head in the Riften for supplies, but I can do that after I'm done with the helm. Just be careful, Jenny. That cop threatened your soul. If you see any trouble, you're on right hook. That's a long journey for a child to make. They need my help. All right. Oh God. All right, looks like we have um, a quest to do. A miscellaneous quest. But, you know, so be it. Not everything is a world ending event. I mean, we've got vampires who are planning on destroying the sun. A dragon who is hellbent on destroying the universe or the world or something like that. Oh God, what do you want from me? Can we not? I'm really not in the mood. Fine, 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 fine. God, 
I'm having a lot of fun right now. I hope you know that. I'm toying with you. There was no reason for you to attack me. I was doing nothing but walking, and here you are. So if you really want to do this, then I suppose arrangements can be made. Where would you like your remains to be buried? Because that's a question that's going to have to be asked pretty soon. <sighs> Too easy. I was basically just toying with you at that point. What were you thinking? Why? Why? There was no reason for that. Probably racist or something. Skyrim belongs to the Nords, so... Anyone who's not a Nord needs to die. <laughs> well, there's Riften over there. As well as the Golden Glow Estate. This is a really beautiful area. I think I need to get a screenshot. Like this is a really nice area. Like this is like There we go. That's perfect. I really wish there's a way to turn the screenshot noise off. There probably is, but I'm too lazy to find a setting for that. Oh, there's a dragon temple up there. Let's go raid it. Whoa. Uh oh. Spriggan. Come on, let's fight. Conjure to conjure, let's go. You need a new profession. Oh my god, yes, 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 yes. I did not know that that was an actual uh, stone that you could accept in Skyrim. That is that is amazing. Um, I usually just use the Steed Stone, but invisibility once per day. That's like, that's fantastic. I definitely plan to get a lot of use out of that. That is that is cool. That's much better than some of the other stones that you can get, like the Apprentice Stone. Okay, what am I doing? Okay, I gotta get up there, but because I'm too lazy to like actually find the path to go up there, we're gonna do some uh, mountain climbing, because I'm, um, you know, stubborn, lazy, stupid. All of the above, roughly. Come on, yes.
Yes. Oh, there we go. Good job. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, 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 yes. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Up, 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 up. More, 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 more. Come on. Up we go. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Almost there. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm kind of liking the whole conjuring weapons. Ah. I'm gonna die. I'm going to die. Oh, that was a premature release. What is going on? Stupid mouse. Um, I'm going a lot slower than I should be because I don't have any uh, stamina. I'm safe right here. Okay. Fair enough. Hmm. <gasps> Fantastic. That's just what I needed. Why does everyone say that? Let me guess, your cousin had a cat and you killed that too. Okay, I want to know who shot the fireball at me. Like, that caused me to basically almost die? Because, like, that's more important than this stupid necromage? Who thinks he's all that? Idiot. I'll take that. I'll take that. Um, I'm going to loot your body. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Give me that. Give me those. I want that. Hmm. You know, I probably stepped on a rune. Um... Show me what you got, buddy. Okay. He deserved worse than death. All right, let's, um, let's continue through and uh, hopefully not die. Even though that seems like that's going to be the uh, outcome of my mountain climbing exploits here. I don't think I was able to help him out at all. Oh, they're companions. Okay. 
Maybe. I don't know. I kind of briefly read that. I think they're companions to Javier. Sounds like a really familiar name. <sighs> You've got to be kidding me. I am so tired of these freaking frostbite spiders. They're everywhere. Oh, a burned down shack over there. Let's go check it out. Correction, still burning shack. Any bodies? Doesn't look like it. Oh, right there. What's that? Looks like there's like a scroll right there or something. Can I pick that up? Nope. It's part of his body, apparently. Huh. That... That really sucks. Well, shoot. Better not let these go to waste, I guess. Alright, so there's some kind of tower up there, but that's not why we're here. Alright, we're almost there to uh, wherever that lady's husband ran off to to get, you know, what she said about that elven lady that he may or may not be with. Shacking some, uh, Elven person. I'm not going to repeat what she said. But by the looks of it, that's definitely not what happened. We have a bandit. Hmm. Oh, look at you. Are you some kind of moron? Great, I'm stuck down here too. Okay. This is a little bit of an interesting area. It's not a mine, at least from what I can tell. There's no visible or displacement. Hmm. Sorry, kinsman. <laughs> you don't usually see Kiji bandits around. That's kind of interesting. Usually, like orcs or something else, but that's 
not what this guy was. All right. We'll investigate later. Let's see what else is around here. Oh, shoot. That's cheating. He's got a glass axe. I'll be taking that. He's running somewhere. Oh. I got baited. Is that a glass axe? No, it's orcish. Ugh. Bamboozle again. I'm still gonna take it though. Alright, now what can I return? Let's see. Hmm. I don't need that. And that's actually pretty good. Mm, no, that doesn't have a good. Let's see. I don't need those two. There we go. Let's see. I'll take that. And that. And those. And I'll eat those, actually. Food. Um, I'll eat those. Actually, I'll drop off the, the mead. I don't need any mead. I'm going to eat all the potatoes. And I'll eat the sweet roll, too. Crap. Ooh. Yeah, I guess I really don't need this. I was gonna sell it, but, you know, I guess I can just kill more bandits and get more of that. I don't like this at all. Oh, no. You have got to be kidding me. Seriously? That's... <sighs> I didn't realize we were dealing with this kind of... Come on. And you are a disappointment to your entire race. I really wish you could just burn down corpses. We have to tell her, don't we? Alright. Let's go break the news.
it's a real shame that this quest ends on a solemn note and not Yeah, neither do I. Here for work? Get an axe and bring me all the wood you can chop. No, it can't be. Oh my. I've been a fool wasting my time sitting here helpless when I could have sent help sooner. Perhaps this is all my doing. What's done is done. Here, I want you to have this. Bringing me closure was kind of you. When I build a house, I'm going to order logs only from her mill, just to provide that extra income for her. <laughs> really? Really? Already? Oh no. That means we're gonna find the beacon pretty soon. I do, and touches the beacon. I don't know, Rick. It's all stay on the Crap. You know, I actually came to talk to you to sell you stuff, Lord, but I gotta go somewhere else. The reason why is because that starts a Daedric quest, and I'm not quite ready to go kill a bunch of vampires. So, in the meantime... Let's uh let's go to Dawnstar and uh, break the game, shall we? God, I'm so tired. Looking to protect yourself I thought a guy worked this area. Hmm, I guess not. Do I need that sword? Alright. Um Let's see. You can have that, you can have that, you can have this, this, and you can have that. Um, oh, there you are. Ah, I really need that so bad. Uh, I'm gonna do it. Um, you can have this, um, that, and that's all I got for you. There we go. Oh, okay. Um, I guess we can just make, um, this. And this. Okay. Let's go sell that to him. Maybe we can get some of our money back. There. Nope. I need to get a lot of money really fast. How can I do that? Oh. Oh, shoot. I, I know. Let's see if it's still there. Alright. It is. Oh, boy. I'll take that. 
and all those, and all that. Um, all the soul gems. Kind of looks like a, like a Khajiit caravan inventory. I don't know. I found this chest a long, long time ago um, when I was playing with um, when I was, well, bored and killing guards. I hid over here and um, I accidentally triggered the uh, search chest. And since then, I occasionally come down here and um, loot it for good stuff. So, that should be most of the valuable stuff. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. Let's see. Mm hmm. Darn. I was hoping those would be like skill books that would, um, maybe I've already read them. I don't know. Okay. Well, now that I've looted the secret chest. Let's uh, go sell all my stuff back, or the stuff that I found from that chest. Um, you can have that, that, and that. And let's go and... Do that. And let's go and convert all of the, um, cool, even cooler. All right, let's go sell all those uh, leather strips to her. There are not leather strips, leather razors. Let's see, let's do that. There we go. And that. And... Let's see, those, shoot, um, hmm, All right, then. did I pick up a grand soul gem from them? I think I did, from that chest. Yeah, I did. Okay, let's go to the, uh, the brewer. Oh, nope, that is, um, closed right now. It's okay, I can wait. All right. There we go. Aren't you sweet? No, I don't have anything for bad dreams. You in town? Everyone else does. They're hard. They say a priest of Mara is with the dream things to him. I want to go sleep at the end and see if there's like bad dreams. What have you got for sale? Kind of, more like I want to sell you a bunch of cool stuff I found. You can have this. You can have that. Um, you can have this and that and this and that and this and that. 
and you can have that. Um, that's all for now. Let me know if you come down to this. Frost took my wisdom years ago. All right. Wait a minute. This is the Quagmire quest line, isn't it? For where you get the, um, that stupid Daedric staff that, um, Where is the inn? I think this is a barracks. Yep. This is like an inn. It is indeed. The uh, Wind Peak Inn. That's a really weird font. All right, let's go see what happens when we uh, take a little bit of a nap here. Need a room? Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Talk to me. Let me know if there's anything else. Alright, get out. Wait, there's no. Ugh. No cutscene? I awoke in feeling right. Are you guys sure that there's a problem with dreams? I'm calling BS. Well, that's a lie. Yes, there are. Oh, there once was a hero Ragnar's already came riding to White Run from Old Roar and And braggarts and swagger and pretentious claims to keep cool and cool. Get out, get out, get out. All right, well, um, I believe this will be the ending of this episode. Next episode, I will probably go and do. The, uh, the quest with a talking dog. So, that's up next. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. And if you are new to this channel and made it this far, I would highly recommend subscribing. If you are a frequent viewer and still awake and not sleeping, stay around for the month of December and early January. For I will be working on and releasing a set of, well, kind of like a new series ordeal. I wouldn't expect anything until fairly late December. So, just a bit of a heads up. But anyways, until then, thank you for watching and having